<laughs> yo, 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 it's the million dollar kid, Jose Guapo, and I just jumped out the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Let's get it! You get money, yeah. You stay fly, yeah. You get hot, yeah. You stay strong, yeah. Okay, we got Jose Guapo back with us off the porch today. How you feeling today, bro? I'm feeling great, man. Thank God for waking me up, man. I'm, I'm off the porch, man. Been off the porch since the age of 11. Yeah, there you go. We had you back on in uh, April, but we had to bring you back to get you on the porch today. Yeah, man, cause I was trying to, that's what I was like, I was like, man, I know that you folks ain't peeing on me, man. <laughs> Take me in the black stream room and I keep seeing everybody else video off the porch, on the porch, man. I say, man, I guess y'all ain't have everything set up at the time cause I know my, my big brother would never, never, he would never did me like that. Yeah, we didn't start rolling them out till June, so we had just missed you. It's all, uh, you know, locked in. Back in April, that was before you cut your hair, too. Why'd you decide to cut your hair? Um, my dread was real thin. A real thin, they used to fall out a lot. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they used to fall out a lot. And then, like, I used to pull them out a lot, too, because I, I used to pull them out a lot, too, just geeked up off Percocet or whatever, just sometimes, just when you, I mean, they pull, cut, when they get thin, you feel that thin, I I go ahead and pull them out because my loctician was able to put any dread back in my head. Okay. But when I, I had got to a point that I would, when I would pull them out, I would pull them like hair straight from the scab and they had, gave me like a ball spot right here. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah it gave me like a ball spot right here and right here. I had like, I had like probably 13 dreads gone from both spots. Yeah. And then a lot, I was in, in a lot tissue and like, um, it was a lot of tissue they were doing outside hair and I, and I would ask her like, is, is there anything that she could do for me? And she, her best advice was just like, um, she told me I got some good hair, just cut your hair and um, grow it back up. And I'll put your, I'll put your dreads back in. But then like, when I start growing my hair and it got and it started growing fast and fast. So I was just like, man, I don't even want to do my dread put back in. I'm uh, I'm reinventing myself. Fuck that. Okay. I'm going I'm going braids on it. Man. So that's all that was. I cut my hair to reinvent myself. How long were you growing them before you cut them? The dreads? Yeah. You know my dread was like about down here. Yeah, but how many years were you growing them? Probably four. Four years? Okay. Probably four or four and a half. Yeah. You don't miss them at all though? I mean, I gave them, I gave them, I gave them to cancer. Oh, yeah? Okay, don't do that. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. Uh, earlier, uh, The hoes miss them. Huh? The hoes miss them. They uh, miss them? Yeah, they miss them, <laughs> but they, like, I got long hair, like, my shit long now, and my shit, I always be blowed out. Yeah. So, you don't never be looking, like, nappy. I always be blowed out. So, they love the long hair, too. Yeah. <laughs> but. Last month, you released your new project, Nonchalant. Yeah, nonchalant, man. That's you know, that's me, man. If you know anything about me, you know I'm nonchalant, man. I'm not rude, I'm not disrespectful, I'm not arrogant. I'm not a Mr. Good at Two Shoes, but I am nonchalant. Yeah. How's the feedback been so far for this project? Oh man, I ain't gonna lie, man. They've been they've been I've been getting some great feedback. Like, I'm gonna okay. say great feedback, like great feedback. I've been getting some great feedback. And then I ain't even gonna lie, it's like the songs that I like, even though I thought one through twelve all along was strong. But you know, if you gotta say like out of the twelve, which are the like one that you think ain't gonna do do too good? Yeah. Them are the songs that I'm down there huh. getting the most shit said to me about. Like you should have cared. Mm. That song I recorded that originally for graduating from the streets too. Okay. Yeah. But when we were picking the songs, they, it, certain certain folks, certain folks, song first. They ain't wanted to go on there, so it was more votes that didn't want to go than they wanted it. But when I was just out in L.A. doing the um, nonchalant project with all the women around and all the different vibes around and shit, and I just happened to play that song in the studio because I ain't even I had been recorded that. I just happened to play that song like, hey, y'all tell me what y'all think about this motherfucker right here. And I was like, then they were like, they fuck with it, so they were maybe put on the project. So like, yeah, then like. You got how how vibes like cause that that's like more like a LA type late night rhyme, you know what I'm saying? With your with your with your shawty, your bitch, your hoe, your baby mama, your, your wife, whatever your, she is to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Throw that motherfucker on, man. That's it's a vibe. Like, you know what I'm saying? But all the rest of the songs that I knew they were gonna get, they were gonna do what they doing. Yeah. But them like the songs that I didn't know, 
like how the, they were gonna take them. Cause you know, I don't make too many girl songs. Yeah. I'ma get into it, cause shit. What well, the baby, the baby got damn crushed me for with close friend, man. So I'ma get into it. I got to have me a number one girl song. Yeah, you're gonna have to shoot some videos for those songs too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta start getting intimate and shit like that in the video, man. You know what I'm saying? Get my act on, you know what I'm saying? How did this project differ from uh, your previous project, Graduated from the Streets 2, that you released earlier this year? I mean, the first thing different about it is the vibe. I recorded that whole project in LA. Okay. I recorded that whole project in, in Los Angeles. The second is the growth. And the third, I mean, then it, the, I mean, I ain't even, I don't know why I just did a number breakdown, but, um, I mean, it's just growth. The vibe, a different vibe got recorded in LA, but it ain't like, no, it ain't like, I ain't saying it's an LA vibe, like the them bouncy LA song. I'm just saying like, nah, it just, you can just tell that I grew. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying, the overall world growth. Okay. And like, I ain't gonna, and this, the difference was that it actually got distributed through Empire instead of me regularly putting it out how I normally put out my project. Yeah. So it, it came out with a rollout, you know what I'm saying, okay. all that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was a difference too. So why did you choose to partner up with Empire for this project? Uh, your previous releases have been uh, self-released. I mean, Empire been knocking at my door for a minute and shot my nigga Miser, man. You know what I'm okay. saying? Hell game Miser, man. Like he, 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 we was in the studio one time in LA and he just was like, um, we were talking for, for a good minute about business, about the business. He was teaching me a lot, cause he know how, we both independent, so he was giving me a lot of the game, and I was telling him all the game that I knew about, you know what I'm saying, the music industry. And um, make a long story short, he just like, he wanted, he like, man, I want to put you with these folk, man. These folk gonna make sure you straight. He named, and he named Nima and Gaza. Yeah. They were like Empire, man. He was like, fool. And I, in that same day, like, he put me and Nima in a, um, a, group a group chat, and we started talking from there, and this shit. Like a couple more labels had reached out, but they they reached out on some like trying to sign type shit. And I ain't really ready to sign yet, but I, I am going to eventually sign. I just ain't ready to sign yet because I want to have a little more on my belt so okay. I can get a bigger bag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But a couple of labels had reached out, but them, Empire was the one knocking on the door and like trying to get it. Like say, hey man, we want you to come over here and distribute it through us. Yeah. Like we want to see what, what we can do so we can continue to do business in the future. So shout out to everybody over there. At Empire, guys, everybody, the whole, the whole, the whole team, the whole staff. So you were satisfied with the way they rolled everything out for this project? Yeah, like I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. I, I mean, it ain't even been out a month, so yeah. it's like the shit still going on. The, the budget there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, I gotta go to New York to the press run. Like, yeah. nigga, gotta shoot. I shot vacuum seal video. I shot motherfucking missing video. Y'all gonna love that shit. I'm gonna love that I got a bitch in that motherfucker that look like Kim K. And it's like she getting kidnapped from Kanye house. And I pick her up, but when we when, but when I take the black bag off her head, she give me a hug like she like she was down with the move the whole time. You know what I'm saying? But she lied to Kanye like she got kidnapped. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I shot that video. Y'all seen in the new that already video. I, I'm finna shoot the I'm finna shoot the zone three video and while I'm here in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah and I'm fucking around. I'll probably go back to Cali and shoot the um, tip toe video. Oh, okay. Give me a nice Airbnb joint. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ask one of my rich partners, rich homies or something to use a big boy mansion and let, let about 20, 15, 20 nice of them bad, big booty, small booty, petite booty jumps tip toe across the marble flow. <laughs> that was the lead single, right? It was between Tiptoe and Knew That Already. Okay, yeah, those were the two you had. Yeah, it was between them, so I just said, fuck it. Let's do it like this. I got two new singles. Yeah. yeah. I got two new singles, fuck it. I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't know when the name of the nigga, that, the name of the artist that did that in a minute. Yeah. Well, like, fuck it, boom, put them out on the same day, boom. Yeah. I got two new, these both on my new singles. Yeah. Let your fans decide which one. Nah, I ain't no decide. These are two <laughs> singles. <laughs> Decide what your favorite song is when the mid take come out. The mid take, I already know something. Decide whatever your favorite song is. But boom, these are two singles, though. Okay. You got Hood Rich Pablo Juan featured on uh, Pound in the Bank. 
Yeah, yeah smile like a pound in the bank. Yeah. See, that see, that that they go to show you that I don't really like do too much lying in my routes of it. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I just talk about my lifestyle, man. That what ABS stands for extravagant living, man. Like extravagant lifestyle. So I just was talking about my lifestyle. Like one day, you know, I and I know it's a lot of rappers and a lot of just people, period, that smoke weed and they gotta go in the bank. So I just know like and and that's and that's just, and that's what we say. Anyway, like when like if I go in the bank and you say for me and you go in the bank, I ain't been smoking, but you have. But that would that's the lingo a nigga would have told you, but it's like a pound in the bank. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it was just for me going and always getting told by the ladies that get they do the transactions and shit, like um don't come back in here smelling like that. That's what they can tell you. Yeah, that's what the elderly ones be saying. They know me well because I, I go to the same bank yeah. bank account. I've been banking with them for years, so they know me well. But they be just cracking a little joke. Like, don't come back in here smelling like that stuff. Then some of them be asking. I got one on. I, I ain't even going to say that because I can't get her fired. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then I got another junk that be in there who I be buying her lunch sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she and she and she just be saying, Oh, you smell good. I be saying the cologne or the weed. She be saying both. <laughs> and you and Pablo had put out a couple of projects together before. Man, Pablo and my dog, man. Yeah, like me and Pablo, we got great chemistry, man. You know what I'm saying? The interview ain't about Pablo, but though, but it's about Guapo. But yeah, Pablo and my man shot the whole NPR, like. We, we, man, man, shout out done been through some shit, man. Yeah. As far as ain't got nothing to do with music. Yeah. Like, that my dog, man, you know? Yeah. What's your name but the best? Go get DMV, that shit out right now, Dope Money Violence. Yeah. Yeah. And you got No Cap featured on this song called The Rumors. Yeah, No Cap, my little bro, man. You know my uncle, see what nobody don't know here. My uncle Sweepy, yeah. with who is, which is Dante Coded. R.I.P. my uncle Sweepy, he, he passed, he passed in, away. But he had moved to Mobile, Alabama, okay. and, and became a street millionaire. Oh, shit. Yeah. So he and turned his name to Young Money. So anybody that see the interview from Mobile, Alabama, and y'all, and I, y'all know who I'm talking about when I say Young Money. So like, Mobile is like that's just almost like it ain't almost like home. It, it's just like, but I got family in Mobile. I got cousins in Mobile. You know what I'm saying? I got uncles in Mobile. So no cap, being from a bill, that's what made me even, I was a little head. Oh no, that's, I was a little head of his time. I mean, I was ahead of the people catching on to him. That's why he said on the song, it called Five Rats to see me. I'm pretty sure he getting more than Five Rats for a show right now, you know what I'm saying? But I had been, we had been did the record. But yeah, it was like kind of mandatory because he from Mobile. Yeah. And then, you know, like I, I, I go to, I go to Mobile, they show me crazy love, like, not even love off the route, like off just the love that the foundation that my uncle built and left. Like they they loved him, so they love us. They love all my family. So yeah. And then he hard. No cap hard as a motherfucker. Like, no cap too hard. And then little bro, like, we be talking on some different little shit. Like, little bro, little young nigga that got his head on his shoulder. Like, when you trying to get him some game or tell him something about life for real, like not music and rap. Shout out listening and, and be giving real nigga answers and real nigga responses, you know what I'm saying? So that my nigga, man, I fuck with Cal. And I just talked to him. I just talked to him recently. Told him welcome home, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? We just talked recently, probably like two days or some shit. I'ma hit him when I leave here, cause we gotta get we gotta, we gotta knock that video out in Mobile. We gotta shoot that in Mobile. Yeah, that'd be tough right there. Nah, for sure. That song was called Rumors. Yeah, man, you know, they spread, they've been spreading rumors about Guapo since I became Guapo. Ever since I let Ricky, they've been spreading rumors about it. I don't pillow talk, I don't gossip, I'm not with none of the sucker shit. I barely even talk, man, you know what I'm saying? I might, in the past, I might have done got high and, and posted some or tweeted some about some rappers or some, but hey, man, that ain't me no more, man. I ain't saying I'm to no Jehovah Witness, but I'm like, man, I ain't, I ain't on none of that, man. Like I said, when I just made my post, I was like, man, hey, man, any bridges I burnt, 
I'm trying to pay the Migos, man, come rebuild that motherfucker so I can come back crossing and come fuck with you, apologize, break bread with you, get bread with you, whatever we need to do, you know what I'm saying? If it be 2020, like, I ain't getting no younger, man. You know what I mean? I'm becoming a mogul, man, a business man, man. Goals. Are there any rumors that you want to address? Um, What's being said about Guapo right now? I don't know, you know. Like right now, look at my eyes. People like I ain't, I ain't know what next. I, I, I used to be in probably like 2016, 17 when I did interviews, right? Yeah, yeah. Like people kind of known for going viral. Yeah, I am the first person that was known for going viral for being high in interviews, yeah. saying whatever. Okay, so like right now, I'm talking like I got a lot of sense, which I do. So like you know, but people be doing behind the scene rumors and shit like. Getting with folks, they probably want to work with me and tell them, oh, nah, you know, he be too high. Nah, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Just spreading rumors, you know? Blocking nigga blessings, cop blocking and shit like that, lame shit, sucker shit, really? Like, I don't speak bad on nobody in the silent or, or in public. Cause anything I say in the silent, I say it in the public. So I don't speak bad on nobody. I don't got no bad blood with nobody. So I don't know why nobody would. I don't think they still doing it, but they was doing it, man. I felt like I was being black ball. Like, come on, man. We know running up supposed to been on the charts, bro. It ain't no ifs and the buts, but we ain't, we ain't gonna cry over spoiled milk. So like, that goes to the next question. All right, that brings me to my next question. I think you had mentioned on IG that you were or you thought you were blackballed. Why'd you think you were? I mean, certain certain people weren't posting my shit. Certain blogs and shit weren't posting my shit. I wasn't able to go to certain radio stations. It was a long, it was a long time before I even received a publishing rap check. It was, yeah, yeah, a lot of shit going on. Like, yeah, yeah, a lot of shit going on. Do you think you're still blackballed right now? Nah, nah, cause it's like they seeing that whatever they doing, it's holding me up, but it ain't stopping me. You know what I'm saying? Like. It don't matter how long it take me to climb the mountain, I'ma climb that motherfucking mountain. Basically, that was that's all I'm saying. So it's like, nah, I don't got no bad blood with nobody. Like everybody that I brush shoulder with, I leave good, good tastes in people's mouth, no homo. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't get nobody no room to have that bad to say about me. I ain't doing no dud shit. I ain't I ain't no thief. I ain't petty with no nigga. You know, we got these niggas around here going in there. Rap home and bank rolls and all type of shit, man. I ain't falling out with my bros and shit by hoes. Like, I ain't on none of that, man. I'm a real player, man. I'm raised by a real OG, man. So, like, that's what I'm on, man. Did you have a personal favorite song on Nonchalant? Some you should know. Some you should know. Wow. Yeah. Because at the end, I said, I wish my, my brother Lil Money and Fire were here with me. Like, that's a song that I just want people to listen to, too. Like, that been getting some good feedback. And it's a lot of people, and it was a lot of people that were acting like they ain't even want that to go on the project. But I was like, hell no. Nah. I said yeah. both I said both my brother named that dead on that motherfucker got to go on here. I don't give a fuck if it don't fit or whatever. I don't give a damn. We would have had to make it th- number 13, because I ain't want number 12 song. Yeah. You know, I can get, you know, I usually, I give a nigga at 18, yeah. 17, I got him. Yeah. Clip loaded. But I ain't getting number 12. Come finna double right back and drop again. Baby Faye Nelson on the air, you know what I'm saying? After That's I cut me. Yeah, baby fake nails. Okay. Is that going to be top of the year? Yeah. Okay. First quarter. Okay, first quarter. And you're going to work with Empire on this one too? Never know, man. Never know. You know, I, I just ran into Danny Wolf. It might be a Guapo Wolf or something coming out. We just going to hit him with a tease. I don't know, man. I don't know. I got you. Do you know where your next single will be? I'm going to get ready to put some shit out that I just made on Jason May beat. Oh, really? Yeah. It, it, it's a strip club song. They're gonna be featuring Young Dro and the surprise female artist. I'm finna just put that out before the year over with. So it's just okay. something in the streets. But yeah, but I just told you I just put out two new singles. They ain't even been. Yeah. The, the mixtape ain't even been out of month. Yeah. Yeah. It finna be out of month in probably like, what's the day, the second, third? Yeah, it finna be out of month. In five days, it came out on November the 8th. <clears throat> Everybody uh, knows that you were once signed to QC. QC. Why didn't that situation work out? Uh, because I was caught up in some paperwork with street execs, you know. 
And me being the dumbass that I was at the time, I was doing, I wasn't handling the business right. I was rather trying to take my frustration out on some dumb, dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Like talking bad about them. We never really had no beef for them, but it's just talking bad about them and all that. So, you know, I guess grudges were hell, you know, or whatever and shit. I, I, cause I never signed to quality control on paperwork. Yeah, P just know like I'm a lawyer. Like everybody know P out. Everybody know like I'm a stand up nigga. If I give you my word, you got my word. I ain't going back on my word. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a stand up nigga. I'm loyal to all that. So it just was some shit going on, on behind the scenes, man, that with QC and Street is Edge and 300, because they were trying to sign me at the time too. It was just a lot of shit going on behind the scenes. Lawyers, one. Clicking all type of shit. That's why I'm independent right now. I own all my masters. You know what I'm saying I'm on. I'm on that one. But yeah. But if you said, but the question was like, what happened with why I didn't sign why, with QC? Uh, why didn't the situation work out? Yeah. Uh, I don't think that at the time. At the time. I mean, me personally, I just think like you know. They think I was getting too high, man. You know what I'm saying? I think they think I was getting too high and not really. But but I never missed a show. I never been late to an interview, even though even if I came in an interview lit, however I used to be getting how I used to be, I never was late. I always was consistent with music, with videos. So like the high wasn't really getting my in the way of my work, but it it was, but it wasn't. But I guess, you know, I, they felt like I was just being too high. And, you know, you don't want to invest. You can't be mad at nobody because they don't want to invest their money in something that they think yeah. ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? They, they, I know for a fact that QC believed in me. Yeah. P still believes me to this day. But, you know what I mean? That's just like investing your money in a nigga that you know a shooter and he, and he throw it off. Okay, you don't put all that money up and shot him when he got locked up for life. So they like, damn, they don't want to. That would have been a kind of bad investment. So I guess that's what it was, you know what I mean? And it ain't no bad blood with them, like, whoever need to know that. Because I ain't running around having bad shit to say about him. One thing about it, man, he helped change my life, man. You know what I'm saying? So salute QCP, Coach K, the Migos, Lil Baby, everybody over there at motherfucking QC. They all family. I know the people that don't even rap, man. I know. Simone, what's that name? I don't know, every clown, man. How much did you know about the music business then compared to now? Man, I know then, um, I knew nothing then. I knew a little bit. I knew probably like 10, 10% out of 100. Now, now I'm at probably like 80%. Because you know it's switching up so much. So can't nobody tell you they know the business, know the business, because they switching up so much every day. I so you gotta. I just Google, learn, when I, I lit, read, talk to people. You know what I'm saying? So I'm learning more and more about the business. So I can be business straight, and I'm getting all my business straight. My credit score even going up. You dig? Yeah, yeah. What advice would you give any young artists who are being contacted and meeting with the labels right now? Man, just tell your lawyer to go over the contract. Ain't that wrong with signing no deal, especially if you ain't got shit. If you ain't got shit, man, hey, man, you got a family to take care of, sign a deal. But like, make sure you ain't signing no bullshit deal to where they're trying to, you know, get your publishing, some of your show money, some of your merch money, some of your motherfucking, I don't know, man, they, uh, video money. Uh, I mean, they make sure they want some of your goddamn self-investment money. So just make sure you don't get caught up in none of that shit. That's the advice I give. Just make sure you got a lawyer. And if you ain't got a lawyer, take it to the smartest person in your family and have them read it. You ain't got to read that. They, yeah, be thick as fuck. You ain't got to read all that. You got to read it. Nine times out of ten, it tell you the shit about the shit right that way. You got to sign it. You know what I'm saying? So, it, and, then, and then if I'm not mistaken, that font kind of be a little bigger than the other font in some contracts. It show you that you being a dumbass. Yeah, they want to be able to say, yeah, you signed right here. Yeah, like, so just make sure you sign the right shit. That's all I can say. That's the advice I got to the youngster. Yeah. And if you got a bag or you got somebody that got a bag and they trying to fuck with you, 
you ain't got to be in the rush to sign. Just make sure you better make sure you're working with somebody that know, know the business and got relationships and shit like that. You did. So I always wanted to know why on your single Run It Up, Skipper the Flipper was replaced uh, by Takeoff, I think on the video version? Yeah. yeah. So what happened there? What, why was there a swap? See, they would never no no go back to 300. Okay. 300 Entertainment was ready to sign me. <laughs> so, you know, they was, they was, it was like they were bugging P about that record. They were like, you know, the motherfucker smashed. Let's go, let's go on it. Woo, woo, woo. So, um, boy, it's time to shoot video because you know, then we let Capital distribute it. Okay. Capital ended up distributing it. Mm -hmm. Not three hundred. I don't know what happened with that, but Capital ended up distributing it. So, boom. Once we did it, did the shit for. Once I signed and let Capital distribute it, it was like nigga got deadlines now. Hmm. You know how that shit go to the label. Nigga got mm -hmm. deadlines now. So now. Shit, Skip and Flipper get locked up. This is when all them got locked up down there in Statesboro. Oh, okay, yeah. He get locked up. Hmm. Shit, P like, if, if he don't get out in time, we gotta put takeoff on that motherfucker. Hmm. I'm like, shit, I ain't got no problem with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't like, I ain't, I ain't take him off on no shit like, Man, get brought my song and put takeoff on it. Nah, hmm. it was a, it was really out of my hands. Yeah, like this is what they wanted to do. Even though I own my, I like I own my own creativity, mm -hmm. but it was like, hey man, they want to make this move and they ready to make it now. Yeah. So like that what it had, that what it had to be. That what it really was about. It wasn't no problems or no beef and then it wasn't none of that. No, that wasn't no problem. Okay. It was just business. Yeah. Do you feel like that song reached its full potential? Nope. Hmm. I know it then. Why do you think it didn't reach its full potential? Because of all the static that, that we just got down talking about. Hmm. With the rumors and all that shit. Hmm. And plus, I was getting high as fuck when that song was out. Man, I could have I could have made more money off of my down self. Hmm. Just the street weight. That's the street weight of rap. I ain't talking about no drugs. I'm talking about yeah. just the street weight like as far as features yeah. and after hours and mm -hmm. clubs, and I could have made my money off of it. I'm still, I mean, I'm still making money off of it. Don't get it fucked up. I'm yeah. still doing shows now. Mm -hmm. We still doing shows. We still fucking hoes. Running, and I'm st they still know I'm running up word for word everywhere a nigga go. But it like I know that motherfucker could have charted. That motherfucker could have been top ten in urban for a fact, man. Mm -hmm. I don't care what nobody say. Like we can hit, we can shoot it out, whatever. That motherfucker, like it had potential. And we know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We know that. And every time I used to perform that song, bro, it was to the point where at one time I would perform that song three times. Oh, shit. The <laughs> whole song, not just my verse. I'm performing <laughs> the whole song three times. And these folks is not being tired out. They put, they lit the whole three times I performed. <laughs> like, no bullshit, man. That song was, that song is going, that's like, that's, that's a endless, whatever, like endless, timeless music. Yeah. Man, mm -hmm. that's some shit they're going to be popping. Five years from now, ten. That's something. Yeah, I got that swag. Yeah, like, it's gonna be some shit okay. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna let up. No, I ain't gonna let up. You gonna be some shit like that, man. Run it up. That's a classic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no That's doubt. a classic. Yeah. Cause it's still people that when they just not hearing it for just not hearing, they be like, man, that shit is so hard. And mm. then I ain't gonna lie, everywhere I go, every. That's my biggest song anyway, but. That's what everybody tell me. They just tell me that they love that song. Like, certain you know, been street nigga told me, like, boy, I, I, I got so much money in this song. Or, boy, I do, this song what made me want to be hmm. a boss. Hmm. Like, yeah, so I, I, I did, it did what it supposed to did. Left it mark. Yeah. But I just think it could have been higher as far as, like, I could have performed. That's the shit they can get performed at the motherfucking, I performed at the birthday bash. Oh yeah, but yeah, okay. that's some shit they can get fun at the BET Hip Hop Award, man. Huh. Like, come on, man, like run it <laughs> up, man. Lucci was on fire. Take mm -hmm. off, come on, man. Yep. Then he had the remix too. Yeah, who was on the Boozy and, and Fetty Wap and yep. Shaq Lizzy? Yep. Yeah, so they're like, come on, man. You know that motherfucker. <laughs> Pew. It had to be some that holding going on. Hmm. It had to be some dick pulling. Hmm. It had to be some. Yeah. All right. Do you still feel the same? 
um, as you did when you recorded Fuck the Rap Game? No. No? No. Yeah. What changed? Mature. I matured. Hmm. Mature, man. I don't feel the same. I, but I, that's how I felt. Like, that's a song that came out of my... I was I was in my feelings when I made that song. Yeah. That's that's that was you know what I'm saying? That was a song like I I meant every word on that song, like mm -hmm. at the time, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I, I was just like all these rappers know they pussy anyway, that's just how I was feeling at the time. <laughs> I was like, fuck the rap game. Rapper being fake, all type of shit going on. I was like, I fuck the rap game, but hell no, nah, I ain't I ain't know what like that right now. I'm fucking with the rap game. Yeah, there you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's a business, you know? Yeah, it's business. It ain't nothing personal. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I never wore my emotions on my sleeve anyway, but it's just like, that was back when a nigga was geeky, man. A nigga <laughs> was geeky on bullshit, run around. We run around probably five, six deep in a, in a, in a car. <laughs> that was back when niggas on all bullshit, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nigga ain't on that. Nigga on that. Nigga, shit like that scared the money off. You yeah. trying to scare the bag out, man. Nah, <laughs> you need to collect them bags. Yeah, you can't scare the bag. Scare, mm -hmm. scare the bag out, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already, I already, I already had too much shit going on when I fought around and made the uh, Osama Ben Guapo cover and hmm. put the twin tiles on it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't did too much for the shit, man. Hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? I apologize. I'm sorry. Do you regret any of it? No. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't be here today if I, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I, went, if I didn't do something shit I did. Yeah. I don't regret nothing. I just ask God for forgiveness. There you go. All right. Um, gotta ask you, why why was there never a music video for big old facts? It was a pretty big single you had a couple Man, years ago. I think I think who they was signed to or managing at one time, like shot my nigga real money. Cause he tried to set that video up. Okay. He tried to call me and he was like, Man, you need to shoot that video with woo. But he said, like, when he had talked to, um, I don't know if that's their manager or who they signed to, but hmm. they own, they own, what's that called? They own Medusa. Hmm. I, I forget it now. He's my boy, man. AMG. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because Drum God produced it, right? Yeah, Drum God produced it. But he was saying, they were saying, like, they thought me and Battle were, me and Battle were, like, not saying eye to eye about the song or something. Hmm. Was that the case? I, no, like huh. that, man, better like they're my dog. Like yeah. every time we see each other, anyway, we perform it together. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, it, it wasn't my song. It wasn't his song. It was our song. We hmm. made, we made that song. I'm on the ad level of the hook. He on the hook. Verse, verse. That was our song. Hmm. Like and they thought, they, but that was he. They thought that's what I don't know what gave them that impression. Huh? Because ain't like I ever. Even had never said nothing like about the song. Like, you know what I mean? Shout on the hook. So he ain't like, you know what I mean? That's the most important part. He on yeah. the hook. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know. It's just that when we try to get it done, they thought we one thing out of eye. Then time and time and time and time just kept going on path. Time and time kept going on path. Try to shoot it again. I wasn't on P because I remember I said, I said something like about the Maybach like two times. Yeah. So I wasn't on P because I was like, I need Maybach. Hmm. And he be so busy. Yeah. So it, the video I didn't even just get done, but that's the video that I still shoot to this day. Cause to keep it real, that that song just big in Atlanta, man. That song not really big everywhere I go. When I play oh, really? it, nah, huh. it, hmm. it ain't really that big everywhere I go. Like hmm. I only I only I only perform it at my professor festival shows. Oh yeah. Yeah, huh. cause it's like eh, that's just straight the city that made that motherfucker do hmm. a million views, two million views. That's the city. Hmm. The city love that motherfucker. Yeah. But when I be going to other little places, I drop that. Some people be looking like that. You know what the hell? That? What huh. this is this something new? Hmm. But yeah, I, like, I can we can shoot that video tomorrow and put it out like yeah, because it still ain't it's still people that ain't heard it. They think it's a whole new song. Yeah. I want to do that to Hustler too. Hustler, really? Yeah. yeah. I want to shoot a video. It posted me a video to Hustler. She huh. just loved her fat that I'm a hustler. Yeah. Posted me a video to that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think those would still do good if you put them out today, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything going to do good, I put out. Yeah. The people fuck with me and I fuck with the people. You hmm. know what I'm saying? I ain't one of them good at two shoes, walk around my nose up type rappers, man. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? I look out for people. 
Yeah. All right. What does dirty glove bastard mean to you, Guapo? What does it mean to me? Mm -hmm. As far as what? Just when you hear dirty glove bastard, what do you think? Family. Yeah. I think of family. Like, y'all niggas been that since. Y'all wonder, I ain't know y'all, I ain't know y'all when I first went solo. Yeah. But since y'all first became a blog, at first y'all went a blog, what y'all did at first? No, we was strictly a blog at first in the 2007. Yeah, we started in 2007. We were just straight blog. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Well, y'all, whenever y'all started and y'all were fucking with me, y'all were fucking with me. Like, yeah. y'all, y'all posting my shit, y'all were fucking with me. Like, Y'all fuck with me. One thing about it. Like, y'all just, today, vibes, my vibes, Guap Mix came out. Mm -hmm. it, that came out exclusively to yeah. Dirty Glove Bass. That's all right. So, like, y'all just fuck with me. Anything I ask y'all for, y'all do it. Hmm. If I say, listen, hey, man, I need this to be on the front page. I need y'all to post this. I need this. I need that. Y'all do it. Y'all fuck with me. Yeah. So, when I look at it, I, that what, that what. Dirty Glove Bass and me and me and me and family. Like, I, 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 I was fucking Dirty Glove Bass before, Dirty Glove Bass before all the off the porch shit, yeah. before y'all even had this studio building. Mm -hmm. I ain't even know if y'all was in Atlanta or not. I thought y'all was always in Texas or. Yeah. Yeah, it was just two years ago that we all kind of came to uh, to Atlanta. And y'all was in Texas? Uh, Where y'all was at? Like Louisiana? Pooh and Zip were in Texas. Dre was in Baton Rouge. I was in Tampa. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. I knew Louisiana and, and Texas. I ain't know Tampa. Yeah. Yeah, so I knew up before all this shit. Y'all been fucking with me, pulling up on me. I think we got some we got some footage, some old type footage or oh, something, yeah. or I don't mm -hmm. know if it's an interview or something, but yeah, yeah. I know we got footage like a motherfucker. Yeah. Cause my nigga Poos, he used to always fuck with a nigga like R.I.P. my nigga Pooh, man. Yeah. Can you talk about your relationship with Pooh? Man, me and Pooh cool as fuck. Like we won we won just Best friends, but we were best friends, but we want every day like hanging together. Cause yeah. I, I I got a life, you got a life, you got a business, I got a business, we got a job, we got jobs to do. So it went like, and he never worked it for me or with me. Hmm. So we weren't like dead friends, but we was well, my dog. Like, man, him I made a lot of money. Him, he don't help put a lot of money in my pocket. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? As far as features, mm -hmm. shows, like that's that 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 shit nigga ain't got to do. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got to do that. And every time he was doing that, he was never asking for nothing, but I was making sure I give him some. Cause that's just what type of nigga I am. Like, if you break, if we're going to make some money together, hell yeah, you can get your percentage. Cause I would never make this money without you. Yeah. I don't give a damn how you trying to talk. Nah, I fuck with you, Guapo. I just want to see you. Hey, man, we making money. We getting money, bro. Mm -hmm. Take the percentage. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like he was that type, he one of them type nigga. He don't, he don't even care if he made that. He 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 gonna make you song or he gonna have you out there. Like he gonna put you out there. Make sure like the folk know what's going on. He, if he if you an artist, he fucking with man. I don't promote you like you like he signed like he, like you signed to him. Yeah. He he one of them just he was different man. Mm -hmm. Who was a real one though? Mm -hmm. I can end it with that man. He was a real. One. All right, Guapo, anything else you want to add? Oh, yeah. Um, long live money. Long live fish scale fire. Long live all the real niggas. Long live bank roll fresh. You know what I'm saying? Long live all the real niggas we lost. I don't even want to say no name because I might forget somebody. Free all the real niggas that locked up in jail. You know what I'm saying? Nonchalant, my album slash LP. LP slash album is out right now on all platforms. You can get it. Wherever you listen to music at. Is out is out on the one that you gotta pay for the streaming, <laughs> title, Apple Music, Spotify, all that shit. It's out on the free shit. My mid tape, live mid tape, audio mat. It's out everywhere. You can't Google Play, Amazon, wherever you get music from, it's out. YouTube, go stream that shit, run them numbers up, and I'ma keep working. I ain't gonna never let my fans down, cause that's who I do this shit for. Without y'all, if there is no me, I do this shit for my fans. So I want to let them know that I love my fans. And um, yeah, man, I got to put this out there, man. Can't Y'all can stop showing y'all a shot of my DM, man. You know what I'm saying? I know I said they didn't want to interview you shoot the shot, but y'all can stop showing y'all a shot. Y'all fill them a DM up. <laughs> I know I'm handsome, but you know what I'm saying? I 
all, all it done. Just wait till I come to your city and you see me at a show. Shoot the shot in person. Uh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let the DM be full of features. Hmm. And goddamn folk trying to get bookings or, or media press or something. There you go. Smoke good weed. Say no to drugs. We out here. Thug like Young hmm. Guapo, bitch. I thought you knew that already. I thought you knew that already. Whoa, whoa, I thought you knew that already.